All right, guys, it's Friday. We're back. You know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. Let's get them. But first, make sure you pick up one of these sweet ass shirts, right? Dan Overfield, am I right? That's sexy. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, link in the description. Also, like, subscribe, comment, follow the algorithm. Let's go. This video is from Dr. Kiltz. I met him actually at the low carb conference. He was nice. This, this gentleman is a fertility doctor who advocates for the carnivore diet. And we had a, um, a very interesting discussion is I guess the best way for me to put it. He asked me what carbohydrate is stored as in the body, which I responded to glycogen. And if I recall correctly, he said, well, how do you measure that? I said, well, it's, it's measured with a stain. And he said, have you ever done it? Have I done the stain myself? No. I don't want to put words in his mouth. It's almost like he didn't believe that glycogen existed or that that was a storage form of carbohydrate because I hadn't done the stain myself. I mean, we're going to have to undo a lot of the scientific stuff that we know if I have to have done the test personally in order to make the claim. Maybe ATP doesn't exist. I don't know. You know like, well, there's a lot of stuff we're going to have to undo our knowledge on if I had to do the test to figure it out. And then he, he basically made the claim that carbohydrates actually stored as in glycation products in the body. I probably looked very confused and it probably took me several minutes to recover from that. Quite frankly, it was one of the more uh, uncomfortable conversations I've ever had because I was just waiting for somebody to come save me. Honestly, I just, I just didn't know how to respond because I just, it's kind of crazy. But anyways, so he's talking about fiber and boy, oh boy, I think I probably know what he's going to say. Let's find out. Is fiber good for us? And I'm going to show you a great slide that was a study with 63 participants and they looked at constipation, straining, bloating, anal bleeding, and pain. We all suffer from that. Basically, when you went from you suffer high fiber, bleeding, bro? reduced fiber to no fiber, the symptoms not only went down on no fiber, they were eliminated. You deserve the truth. And simply fiber, my friends, is deadly. Don't do it. Stop feeding the diseases and the doctors and the drugs and take care of yourself. Go to an all meat nutritional solution. Wait, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. First of all, bro, if you got anal bleeding, I've never had that. I mean, you're on a carnivore diet, so maybe it makes sense. Second off, don't feed the doctor. You're a doctor. What are you talking about? I love how these doctors want to, in one hand, discredit the medical establishment. They're trying to make you sick. But then also, I'm a doctor, 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 I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Which is it, guys? Which is it? Which one? Are you a doctor that has reputation and credentials or are you part of the system that's trying to make everyone fucking sick? Pick, you have to pick, okay? All right, now let's talk about it. Let's talk about this study. I love this study because Paul Saladino on the debate we did in 2018, I think on Mark Bell's podcast, Paul Saladino brought up this study. I had never heard of the study before because it wasn't a great study, but anyways, or, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's just not a great study to defend the positions that they were defending. They took people who were already suffering from constipation. They had some of them reduce their fiber intake or do a zero fiber diet. There was no control group and these were self-reported symptoms. Cool. One study. What? Did you guys hear that? Yes, sir. Human randomized control trials. What do they say about fiber intake? They decrease the incidence of constipation. They improve the ability to defecate and increase bowel movement frequency. Oh, gee, why well, I kind of left that part out, didn't he? Are there some individuals, particularly those who may suffer with inflammatory bowel disorders or IBS, who in the short term, eliminating fiber can make them feel better? Yes, there are people who in the short term, eliminating fiber can make them feel better. Or if they have FODMAPs, uh, sensitivities to certain types of fiber, certain fibers containing foods, elimination of those foods can make them feel better but you don't need to completely eliminate dietary fiber. There's almost always some way that you can add back in some source of fiber and still feel good. Let's talk about him saying, stop feeding the diseases. Yeah, what diseases are those, bro? If he is correct, that means we will see people who eat more fiber have higher incidence of disease. What do we see? Oh, golly gee willikers, we see that people who eat more fiber have lower incidence of non-communicable disease. They have better insulin sensitivity. They have better metabolic health. They have lower rates of heart disease. They have lower rates of cancer and lower rates of all cause mortality. And honestly, by a lot. So, <laughs> so a recent study looking at, I think it was almost a million participants. Seems like a decent number compared to 63. A million participants found that for every 10 gram increase in fiber, there is a corresponding decrease 
of 10% in the relative risk of cardiovascular disease and cancer. I'm not saying you need 100 grams of fiber a day to live forever. That's not what I'm saying. A relative risk is basically if your absolute risk, for example, is 10%, if you decrease it by 10%, it's now a 9% risk, okay? But that is still a pretty powerful risk reduction and it is a linear effect, okay? The more fiber that you eat, the lower the risk is of cancer and heart disease and mortality. Uh, what do you guys value? A fertility doctor telling you to eat a meat-only diet who cites a study with no control group of 63 people. Or the human! Yeah, that's not a control trial. Or the overall consensus and body of literature of millions of data points showing that fiber is actually pretty good for us. So. And I'm out.